<laughs> We've got ASMR with Rusty going on here with whatever that knocking noise is. But what's up, WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee and Rusty from Champions Chat, and we are going to power rate Carrion Cross. The end is near. But first, we get some exclusive six star silver gameplay because we are on the main channel tonight. We're on the Candy Store account, so everything is maxed out. Uh, you're seeing the top end of this damage. So, Rusty, have you got to play with Karrion Cross at all yet? I have not. I've looked at his movesets. I haven't um, tested him in game, and I'm curious to see which moveset you come out of the gate with. So okay, well, I think he has two that I like. <laughs> One that I didn't care much for, uh, but I think the moveset that really is going to be on most people's minds is Triple Blue. Uh, this is the one that's going to take the most advantage of his new plate. Uh, this is the one that is the most gem damage based, his other one's move damage based. And this is the one I think that's going to do the most uh, work. So we're going to take a look at the no Northern Light Suplex, 7 MP blue move, deal damage, make a 4x7 area to make him mobile. And then the Exploder Suplex, they're all 7 MP blue. So I'll just make a blanket statement. All 7 MP blue. Uh, deal damage plus bonus damage for every immobile gem. The Doom Doomsday Saito, deal damage, make 30 immobile gems into blue. So flawless recycle, good amount of damage, and uh, here's what our entourage looks like. So we do these power ratings assuming the plus 99 is gone. So you're right. going to be like, why is Lawler on there? He's got plus 99 MP. Because realistically, 100% you need Lawler. In fact, you might also need Santa Hogan or to put a 2 MP guy right here to be loaded in most modes. So that being said, this is a little bit of a hybrid because I, I might actually need to take off one of these guys, but the Santa Hogan on the candy store account is also so buffed out that it's kind of a wash, to be honest. Uh, so we're running, you want to say it? Do you want to say Ludwig Kaiser, Rusty? Oh, I was like, what I know, it? you can't see. You're like, what, what am I looking at? Ludwig Kaiser. Right, right. And Belusky, yes, Dom would be your person. So if you have Judgment Day, Dom, he's going to add 50% to blue gem damage plus two blue MP. Uh, so instead of Ludwig Geyser, but we are going to lose the plus on the immobile gem if we do that. Uh, so I would recommend as long as you can put in Santa Hogan here instead of Eddie, but you might need Dom. Uh, so Eddie's going to do 80%, I'm sorry, 50% more immobile gem damage and power house Hogan and mobile gems do a hundred percent plus it creates two more of any color if you're missing any of those you just sub out for what you have uh, live is your I think uh, blue live is your immobile gym flat at 12k uh, and there's plenty of other trainers that do immobile gym damage on the strap uh, we're gonna run two very specific things so I am running a 100% gym damage strap because again we're testing the power rating to where he could go, uh, typically on my previews, so for what Rusty and I do, you'll see I use a 50% gym damage strap just because it tends to be a little more balanced, uh, but he does already have 100%, and I didn't want to change it, so we got that, plus Double Fury 2, but the big thing is the basic plate, the nearing end, whenever you make six or more immobile gems, increase all your gym damage by 350 Percent. Do you know what happened with that, Rusty? I don't know if we can officially say this, but uh, after Professor well, used this on the stream last night, they went, ooh, well, ooh, it, not good I, enough. I Yeah, I think it's okay to say, just meaning like uh, what was in the blog um, was from a test environment, right? It got tested, mm -hmm. and, um, and I think they wanted the community to just have um, a more viable strategy, especially with – what I, in my words, an undersupported um, strategy like power or like uh, mobile gyms. So I think yeah. they're like, yeah, okay, it's 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 very specific to a mobile. It's not going to break the game if we really right. boost it and make this a viable strategy. At least that's yep. kind of my take on it. I agree. I agree. 
and uh, and then with this plate, we're gonna care. Uh, we're gonna pair it with the Heart Stopper. Whenever you activate a blue move, increase your blue gem damage by fifty percent for one turn. And we've got a content creator feud going in the chat here. People are calling out DJ and Merrix together. I, I, it's almost like they had a showdown recently during WrestleMania that people should go find the videos for and watch. Just saying. Hey, who, I don't even know who who won it, Merrix, right? Or no, no, it was T Unit. <laughs> oh, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah T Unit stepped like, in, right? So that's like a different. Um, it's kind of like a triple threat match, you know. Somebody yeah. else, DJ didn't. He didn't want to take the fall to put Merrick's over, so T Unit came back with the title. <laughs> Spoiler alert, House of McDuck says, sorry about that. It's been a couple weeks. All right, um, let's see how he does. And Rusty, can you be watching the damage for me um, just in case I get clicky and, and miss it? Um, I'm one speed, so I have a fighting chance. Oh, speed. that's right. I forget. You're always off. You're off kilter. Okay, so so clicking it once, blue gems are doing 262K. We're going to click this one. He's going to do 515 bonus damage for every immobile gem. In testing, that's been about 12 million. Let me see if it, yep, that was 12.27 million. Uh, so, right. so far, we're at 12 million damage. Here's plate where it on. really gets tricky. What's that? Is the plate on? Yep, yeah, all the plates, all the plates are so, there. So the plate, it looks like the plates uh, increase of percentage from the previous test was hitting like seven, eight mil, maybe yeah. nine. Merrick said nine. So that yep. increased boost, you saw about a 3 million damage Bump. jump from the plate rework, which is great. Yeah. And then Merrick says it's going to hit 8 to 9 million gem damage, which is probably about right. This is where I got to watch this close, though. Let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, just over 9.4. So 12, 2, and 9.4, about 22 million damage, 23 million damage, give or take, uh, per cycle. But that's max six silver with everything. So not bad. Not this bad. Is, this is a boss battle specialist that would be really fun to use situationally. Yep. Maybe there's more. Maybe there's more utility. But, like, I get really excited when I see somebody turn the whole board a modified gym or a color gym or both. That's really right. exciting. Yeah. Right. Agreed. So his other uh, move set, I I don't his move damage one I don't like as much to be quite honest. Um, green, it's it's purple purple green. Yep, and purple. okay, I'm I'm not going to. What's up, virtuoso Tiger King and Ivy Girl? How you doing? Hold my beer. <laughs> Need to check with the gym damage before you do the move so we can see how much it goes up. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Hold my beer. Um, but I just want to show you guys this real quick. So I don't think we're going to run this. It's damage output is uh, like Zoro argued, you know, like, Hey, this is, this could easily hit 30 million. It, it theoretically can, but it's going to be, green, it's going to be a little, is, what's is that? Green just not, does the green move set not flow together? Is there no well, green, green, green? Green, green, green works. It's just confusing. It, it's okay. So I'll, let's talk green, green, green. So cross jacket, you throw down your submissions, you make purple submission, and then you make multiply into nine. Right. However, right. in testing multiple times, I was only left with a few gems, right? Because it's it, the multis are, are from that. Then you, you have, have to, the by putting like a the Ric Flair or like a like a sub killer on your own, right? Which then. That's a weird strategy because you take away your own damage, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So then you've got the overhead belly to belly, which uh, even with plus 99, it only really makes sense to reload your moves because that's purple. And then your time's up, which is what I was going to talk about for this move set anyway. It increases your purple move damage by 111%, but it's on the next turn. Then you deal damage and choose a 6x6 six six area to swap into purple. So... Green move damage is not bad. It's 1.36 million, but it's not good enough to to be in the conversation for a uh, right. a, a plate, a chic plate, right? Because Nation of Domination, Rock, Neidhart, and Fatu are your top three, and and that doesn't even get close to those. Now, if you don't have those three, maybe he's in conversation. But the thing I don't like about the move damage build out, it's it's very clicky, but it's also so like you've got this. 
Uh, you start with a purple MP trainer and you increase your green MP by five. Then you hit the gut wrench power bomb and increase your purple MP by five. Then you hit the roundhouse kick and increase your green MP by five again, which loads the purple or the uh, finisher. But then you don't get the buff on the purple move until the next cycle. So it's Weird. not this cycle. I mean, it couldn't be this cycle because it gives you on that one. So I'm not a super fan of this move set. It's okay. Don't get me wrong. Okay. It's okay. Well, and it looks like it's designed to tip the hat to the previous carrying cross who who the viable strategy is kick out, right? So it looks yeah. like that's kind of a, 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 a samesy samesy of like, well, carrying cross, what we've done with this design is try to make it a viable kick out right. reset, able next turn. Um, right. May, maybe that's what that is for. Um, yeah. I, I, I mean, honestly, this is the move set I would run. Triple blue, triple green right. is, is if it hits, it could hit hard, but it just too many variables and you're just, you're eliminating too many of your, um, your submission gems to leave a lot of multis. Um, and then it does hit a pretty big area. So like lots of purple six by six area, that's most of the board. So you're going to hit a good amount of them if you, if you leave them there. Um, but I mean, we could certainly check that out. So our buddy Tiger King said, not gonna lie, this character looks absolutely confusing. <laughs> well, triple blue straightforward. If you get him, triple blue's easy to figure out. <laughs> when you veer off the blue path, I totally agree. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, did you respond? The sub works. This sub works much better. Oh, well, <laughs> let's run triple green one time because then I don't have to change out the plates and the, the other stuff with it. The sub instead of the finisher. Like if you wanted to try um, the load, load the MP instead of charging the finisher, charge the sub. You um, can. You just don't need to because the overhead belly to belly takes care of the reload. Okay. So and yeah, the first time we've seen Carrion, so I think we're yeah. all just trying to figure. So I think one of two things is going to happen. This this superstar is going to become a specialty superstar. Number two, somebody really smart is going to go. Wait a second. Guess what I figured out? And we're all going to go. Oh, <laughs> right? right. Okay. Merrick's wants me to run him a different way, so I'll do that. I'm, I'm glad to. So let me just yeah. let me throw it out this way first. Um, so. You're going to try not to break as many purple as possible, which unfortunately I've got a pretty, pretty, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of places where it's going to break purple, but eh, we'll try it that way. And then we'll do, we'll run Merrick's build right after this. I think this might be turning into our break it down video. <laughs> JK, JK. <laughs> no, I've already got that out there. <laughs> um, that was the joke. Yeah. Right. But we do, this is really cool. The community is getting to see cross tonight for the first time in action. Two Bob had a different idea. If you use green, uh, purple MP plate. So, right. The one I put on the Steiner so and then the area, you can use the purple moves again on the same first turn. I think he definitely feels weird, but he's not all that bad. So, so that would be the phantom, the glowing power. Right. And I did use the glowing uh, phantom in in our break it down video. Uh, it works. It works okay. Well, let's let's go through them because we got a little bit of time here on the video. So let's start with Merrick's because uh, he was up there first. So green MP up, purple MP up, and then sub. So we'll we'll run that one real quick, and then we'll do the two Bob special. And again, uh, send love and and care to two Bob in the chat. Uh, had had a loss today, so just uh, yeah, just just. Tell them you're you're thinking of them. Yes. Um, so, <laughs> um, in our so, while Lee gets this ready, let me just say, hey, today, if you're watching this on demand or whether you're live with us on Twitch, we started a, a Twitch um server with some of our friends already and we're so thankful we we did our thanks earlier in the show so we'll let that be on this video but for now i'm going to post a link to our discord server we'd love for you to join it and uh and hang out with us 
So That's I didn't awful. change out the the move damage side of things. So I think with with Merrick's build, I, I mean, definitely you need to to have the purple moves as much purple gem damage as you can, uh, and then you can make your purple right here to reload them and put the rest on the board. Although there's not, uh, no, I don't want that. There's not much in terms of breaking the multi gems, but this works. This works. And so Max yeah. was saying works better with the purple move damage metal and trainers. And the trainers. Yeah. Yeah. Let me uh let me get out of this real quick and I'll do that. Was two bobs build uh move damage or or gym damage? So let me scroll up and check. Or okay, Bob if you was... use the green to purple and the the glowing phantom and that three by two area, you can use the purple moves again on the same first turn. I think he definitely feels right. Okay, so move damage. So let's let me go ahead and switch him to a move damage uh, strap, and and we'll redo Merrick's because uh, that's that's pretty much what uh, what we're doing. And then we'll do uh, two bobs. Oh man, here's the here's the quote. Here's the soundbite. Can Carrion cross the 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 oh gosh hang on can carry and cross a level 20 power rating <laughs> <laughs> i mean so we had this discussion earlier or at least i did with somebody forgive me if i've forgotten because well i've got streamer brain going here but um i don't think every character they released has to be the next best thing because if so <laughs> the power creep is just going to kill us all I think it's okay right. for, especially someone who's an A tier, and I know that's just shard ratings in there, but to have an A tier character be just okay is okay, I feel like. Yeah, and they can be, um, they like, boss battle is now a viable evergreen format. I don't see it going away, and uh, so we're going to need specialists. We're going to need specialists for all of these wacky, modified gym matches right and the extreme rules things and the things they're doing with showdown and the gym militia derbies so it's okay to push into that i think it's good it's healthy it's fun mm, it is it everybody hurts nobody <laughs> good for the economy <laughs> I just made a meme of a, a verbal quote. I don't know. Have you ever crossed those metas before? <laughs> no. Bring a meme to life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Jason Jaw, that's one of the things we talk about in the power uh, breakdowns is how do we think they will do? Oh, they didn't do. Who's they? They is me. I'm the first one that got to use him. I didn't do I, uh, my job on this because I did it on my account, and then we got access to this one. Sorry. Check, check loadouts. I thought bro said he loaded something in there for us. Um, yes. He, uh, give me just a second. If I can't get there fast, which is very possible, then I will, uh, I'll will check the loadouts. Let's see. Purple move 60. Purple move 75. I'm looking for striker KO here is who I'm looking for, right? Or is it? That, yeah. There's the, a third trainer slot. I really like that. Um, but man, that would be game changing for sure. That would be meta redefining. Yeah, he, be, he didn't do it for the purple move damage, but that's okay. No that's probably. Okay. Hey, we can do it quick here has got us this far. We're going to have to take it the rest of the way on our own. Hey, you know what? We appreciate the bro. We appreciate Merrick's. We appreciate, you know, you guys should follow all the content creators because legitimately we do this out of the goodness of our own hearts and because we love this thing. We well, love this silly game. Actual credibility in the community. It's T-Unit at this point, right? Isn't she their champion? So, T-Unit is the champion of the content creators, yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is this is the one disadvantage. I had it built out on my CC account, and then I, when I found out we were doing it on the six star silver account, uh, I didn't have time yeah, to. Oh, there he is! There he is! Whew. Will Breaker. I, that took me a second. Super smart. That is good. Good joke. What's that? 
So Will Breaker says, um, uh, why is there not a Doink the Clown moveset, right? Which would be that classic purple and green, you know? Right. Okay. I just catch oh, it. sorry. Sorry, Risty. Go ahead. No, back to uh, so I'm leaving, just because I want to save time, I'm leaving Lawler on here. He has the plus 99 MP, but again, we're simulating. So you would put your purple up trainer right here, but we're simulating it post 99. We've got KO for purple moves deal 100% more damage. We've got the statue of Trish doing purple moves do 40% more damage. And we've got uh, your bird doing 40% more damage, Mr. Gooker there. And Dirty then... Birdie. Dirty birdie. And then we've got the two Bob special, the glowing phantom power plate. Uh, we've got the takedown twos. I about said fury twos with hundred percent move damage. So everything should be lined up. So first we're running Merrick's build, which is uh, the sub. Then we're going to run two Bob's build, which will swap in the three by two area into green. And then we'll power rate him. Sound good. Love it. <clears throat> No, no, do the opposite plate. Green to purple, not purple to green. Oh, well, thank you too, Bob. I could do that one too. So we're doing the phenomenal flow. Watch this. It's okay, good. It's like, it's going to make me reload the, the things, but it didn't. Okay. All right. Well, we've got that one in there now. So let's load it the, the Merrick's way. The Merrick's way. Then we'll do it the two Bob way. All right. So this would not be loaded turn one. So you would need to increase your green MP by five. Boom. That would get you closer. Now you would load this. So we're doing 4.85 million every time we click a purple move. Bam. Bam. Now we're going to hit this one more time. So you've done 4.8, 4.8, 4.8. So you're at 15 million. And then you're going to do your sub, which is doing 420 for three turns. So let's drop some of these. And you can also, of course, break yourself some purple gems, which will count. Bam. Math gang. Yeah, math math doesn't work for me. That's why I tell people to ch check me on it. Well, sub got him. Yep, that, that cleared him out. So that's not bad. Um, can you, Schmike, can you respond to Sharlna, please, if you're still in here? And then let's try the two Bob build. Where is it? There it is. See, Merrick's and two Bob are just smarter than I am about this game. So credit where credit is due. All right, so once again, now we've got uh, this right here, 4.8 million. You're going to increase your green MP by 5 because it wouldn't be loaded except for in the plus 99 era. You're going to do it again. So let's just round those out to 5 because it's easier for me. So that's 10 million. Now you're going to hit it again. So that's 15 million. Bam. Now the only struggle I'm going to have is that as soon as I hit this, it's uh, I mean, no matter what, I think it's going to wipe him. Uh, yep, no way to do it. So that would have reloaded the moves uh, once. We could have done it a mix in there where you could have done that as well. Yeah, ninja kick the dang rabbit. <laughs> a lot of clicks, definitely. Um, but you could have done that twice. So we got 15 million. So theoretically, you could get into the 30 million range with that. That'd be cool. Yeah, but doesn't ch touch the board, so pretty fast for clicks. That's absolutely right, Merrick. So let's swap over to the power rating here. Do do do, and then I got to go on my own screen. Okay. So for those unfamiliar with the power rating, here's how it works. We do have points listed and they give a tier. Now the confusing part that some have said is that is like, well, he's an A tier in game. How could he have this or the other? Uh, you know, it, it's, it is uh, built around the idea that it kind of tells you what tier they are in that area. 
power, speed, readiness, versatility, and entourage. So each of those categories gets a mostly objective rating. So for example, for power to be five points, S plus tier would be 100% or more of current metas top in damage where it begins. And so at six silver, we've kind of worked with some people to decide that top in damage begins at 30 million. The second purple tab at the top needs to be, oh yeah, because he's not a powerhouse. He is a technician. In-game rating A, a tier. Okay, uh, so for power, so we saw, the, the possibility of him hitting up to 30 million. However, I would say, unlike some other ones, this one is kind of a, it's, a, it, it's gonna take a bit to get there, I think. I think the truest estimate of his damage is the triple blue or the move damage set where we got there the one time. So I think he's, I think he could top out at 30, but for me, I would say he's probably four points on this one. I, I think that he will do very consistently 80% of the current meta's top end damage in that 20 to 30 million range. Rusty thoughts? Chat thoughts? Um, and and I think I, I would say my only thought was I think we saw the same numbers across the move set. Um, pretty similar, right? One didn't really stand out more than the others did it they were all around the same range i yeah i feel like i think that's fair i mean we've we've set a precedent on the channel that if we have some debate on this that we would go with the lower and not the higher because we don't want to over inflate uh the the poster you know and say oh it's better than it really is i'd rather people see our power rating and go he's better than that than go oh gosh you guys really really are inflating this uh so <laughs> yeah comfort zone can be at four definitely a stretch for five i think i think you're right too bob i think that is i think he is a four in power um yeah Speed. So we rate speed for a five point or S plus tier rating that at least two of the following things are true. MP charge is equal to or less than six MP, which most of his moves are seven, but he can load off of a six MP move depending on your, your move set. Moves recycle flawlessly, which I would say triple blue absolutely does, or animations are quick resulting in a win under 45 seconds in feud. Or a four-point range would be at least two of the following. MP charges seven or less, which I think is pretty true of him. Moves recycle flawlessly, which I think is true of a couple of the movesets. Animations are fairly quick, quick, resulting in a feud win of under 60 seconds. And then the three-point range would be some of the following are true. MP charges eight or more, but can be offset with trainers. Moves recycle most of the time. Animations are not overly long, and you could win in one to two minutes in feud. So, Merricks, Tubob, Rusty, and those in the chat, where would you say he he falls? W would you say this is a character you're going to win in under 45 seconds in feud? Would you say his move charge is 6 MP or less? Would you say his move animations are pretty quick? You need the plate um, for the for the feud win, I would think. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong. For the turn yeah. one feud win. Well, plate. and keep in mind that readiness is where the, the plate gets accounted for. Right. Um, so, yeah. so he's not really going to take a hit in this category for that. But right. I'm seeing fours in the chat here. Homeless dude, Chaga, two Bob. Four, yeah. Five may be possible, but four feels more comfortable is what we're thinking. Question I mean, mark? If they're 30 million, if they had a five in power, I would say, yeah, speed, MP. What was the blue MP? Was it six? Seven. Consistently, seven. Uh, all, all three of them are seven. So not bad, but again. Not bad. Not bad. So looks like fours, fours in the chat pretty much across the board. Yeah, I like a seven MP. Is That's doable. No 10 MP finisher like Zombie Cody. <laughs> such a bad day i think they're purposely making bad cody's but just what <laughs> i mean come on tech cody's awesome i just don't have it 
<laughs> What's up, Big Love and Rusty? You got some ASMR for us? Um, I was chewing a little ice earlier, but uh, no, not anymore. <laughs> oh no, no, I meant because because Big Love. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, I can't keep up with the humor tonight, Lee. Your your quick witted humor is a challenge for my smooth brain tonight. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah, right. fours all around. Everybody had hella before. Yep, fours all around. All right, so readiness. Uh, character needs one or zero things to make them work. Well, he definitely could use a plate, no matter what. Uh, a moment, gear, etc. Character needs two special things: plate, gear, moment, uh, special trainers to make them work. Three or more special things, etc. Um, so I would argue, if you're going to see his top end damage, you absolutely need to either have the phenomenal flow, which has been fairly available if you're using the the move set that we saw with Merrick or Two Bob. And you definitely would want his uh, end is nearing plate if you're going to run triple blue to get him to do top end damage. So I would say closer to four right there. I mean, he. I, I would go with a, three. Really? I would go with. Only, well, I would say three because this, right? Phenomenal flow. You can't get it in the plate shop. Okay. You may not have got it in the anniversary um, stuff, which I didn't, right? Okay. I don't have blue. Or phenomenal flow so oh. that's still a rare plate considerably that i'm chasing easier to attain but rare nonetheless um yeah so i i think you're he thinking needs three he needs three special things no, no 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 that he is a three on readiness well that's that's what I'm, three points is he needs three special things if he only needs you know phenomenal flow plate and a couple trainers, then he'd be a, a four. I don't understand this power rating matrix that we developed. That's what I really want. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so it's not only your quick wit and your humor, it's also the uh, scoring matrix that we created together that's befuddling me tonight. <laughs> okay. So I'm in the, lasagna, I think is what in the is. chat before we, <laughs> you're Garfielding it up. That's what's going on. Yeah. I hate Mondays, normal. <laughs> wow. Wow, Schmike. Wow. <laughs> uh, so we see Beetle DC puts a four in the chat. What do you what are you guys at? For for readiness scale, uh, is he a, a three, four, or a five? I don't think anybody'd argue he's a two or a one. Maybe no. ISIS three point five. Get out of here. Get out of here. We ain't a library. No Dewey decimals. <laughs> Master Anil said four. Going once. Uh, better than my two. Wow. Wow. I think So can I just say this? Hey, Master Anil, first time chatter. He wrote earlier um, as the first time in the chat. Great to have you on Friday night with us. And he is a proper British gentleman who told me my shirt looked nice tonight. So oh, how, I'll take so nice. often I get a compliment from a, a proper Brit. I love it. All right. Oh, Dark Prince says three. Baluski four. Big Love four. Rusty, uh, I think you're the tiebreaker here. It seems like we're in the three to four range. Based on my misunderstanding of the Matrix, yeah, four is the correct answer that I meant to give earlier. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hip Designer says five. Oh, wow. As Doesn't far as need ready, much of anything for readiness. Ready for boss battle. To do yeah. damage with huge boosts. Yeah. Merrick says four, Master Anil. Rusty, there are no compliments flooding in from England. Oh, there are compliments flooding in from England. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For move damage, a four. Blue green feels more like a three. Okay. So there's an argument to be made for three. I, I think, ooh, ooh. Man. Three or four, Rusty. You think four? I, I I am always going to say err on the side of the conservative, you know, round down. Um, but I think the fours, if we're if we're giving the community yeah. a voice here, the fours have right. outweighed threes. Okay. So I think the have it. All right. I would probably say three, maybe. But yeah, I think it's a. Th I don't know because there's no blue gym, twelve k trainer, right? So like, 
that's a missing element to make that vo- that move set really viable. Maybe that's yeah. the set thing needed. Is that blue gym? Uh... Yeah, I'm just laughing, baby. I says put some respect on decimal points. Um, our, well, we tonight. we can close I'm this one out. Cat. That's yeah, it is, it's on fire today. We can close no. this one out pretty quick, Rusty, because the, the character uh rating for the entourage ability, his entourage yeah. ability. Oh, I'm sorry, versatility. I missed versatility, but let's go to entourage. His entourage ability is exactly the same as DDP's, it's just a different color, and we rated it a three. Yeah, what's the color? So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You have to look in game real quick, but I got it here. The end is near. The eclipse. The prophet of the eclipse. Red. It's red gems. Okay. Ooh, Carrion would be nice and juicy on Showboat Kevin Owens. Maybe. Remember, it's thirty percent, whereas twelve flat twelve k is nearing forty five percent. It's between forty and forty five percent. Red um, moves. So it, yeah, it does just, add to moves. Triple red's kind of nice. So last one is versatility. Compare uh, character is completely usable, co- uh, competitively usable in feud, boss, and showdown. Has special gem types that help with boss and extreme rules. Character is competitively usable in at least two of feud, boss, and showdown, and has the bo- the gem types. Or character is completely and competitively usable in only one mode between feud, boss, and showdown. So. Is this going to be your feud go-to guy? I would argue probably not. No. But he's good. It's not. He's not unusable, but is he competitively usable in feud? Now, boss battle, he's 100% going to be great. I mean, he's got so many uh, immobile gems. He can flood them really quick out there. You could just spam the immobile gem. Plus, if there's a bonus for immobile gems in boss, that's going to be rocking. So he's definitely got there. So then the question is showdown. Is he good in showdown? What do we think, community? Haunted Eagle says he's a three in that. What do you think? For for showdown, I want a link. Uh, was there a link, Lee? I mean, I want like Brawley there Brace is. Link. I want Hall of Fame link. Is it a plus four MP link? Uh, no, it's color finishers do a hundred percent more damage, so it's not actually buffing his main thing ah. because his finisher is green and purple is where his move damage is. So, so Final Testament, yeah. Oh, I don't want that link. I'd want to. I want the Hall of Fame effect or brutes. I want the. I want the Steiner effect plus four MP to me, that's, that's S tier showdown. Okay. Well then based on, based on what we're saying here, that gives him a three. That's I'm seeing in the chat threes, threes, threes. So double check my math. Four and four is eight plus three and three is six. So actually let's do it's this way. So, so six plus four is 10. 14, 18. Is that where we're landing? It, well, yeah, the camera didn't show it, but I was using my fingers to count the whole time. It was <laughs> Louisiana public school education. I was like, four, eight, 12. S- s- yeah. Bingo. <laughs> 18. I think that's right, man. I think that's right. I think the community got it right. I think your gameplay demonstrated why. I think this uh, should be an easier weekend superstar to shard recruit at least that's my hope based on this score and based on being a 1600 shard recruit and showdown you so yeah 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 i i think we got it right guys okay guys well good girls. job community this is a little bit longer video because we did do some six star silver gameplay in the midst of it but man we so appreciate you guys make sure you check out the new champions chat server because we are going to have power rating discussions in that server so that this doesn't have to be the oh we all decided and you just get to sit out like if there's some new information that comes to light we can do some updates in there rusty will you take us out for the video not the twitch stream Thanks for joining us on Twitch tonight. This is the end of our stream. We'll be shutting down all the cameras immediately. Just kidding. (laughs) Just kidding. Um, 
community, thanks for making this game special. Thanks for your input and that we're all building this stuff together. Um, it's so much more fun this way than for Lee and I to just have a phone call and give one another, what do you think? What do you think? We love doing this with you and it's why we do it. And um, so thanks for being part of this. So we hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.